So I don't know if you're aware, but <laughs> we have been using AI tools for a while, like for a minute. Um, I don't think a lot of people are aware that they're even using AI sometimes because like we're just so used to things that like do what AI does that it isn't until something new comes on the AI scene that does something different that we're like mind blown, but we don't realize we've been using AI the whole time. And honestly, of all industries, I think creators are seeing the most benefit from AI slash will see the most benefit from AI, will have the most tools to use that are AI driven. And so um, I came up with a list of eight AI tools that every creator should be using. And the reason I said my spill at the beginning about how we've all been using AI anyway is because I guarantee you've already been using some of these and you didn't even realize that they were AI. <laughs> Hello, what is up? I'm Jessica Stansberry. I am pumped that you are here and you won't see these two videos in a row, but I just filmed another AI video and I'm just like, you know what, let's just film this AI video because it's the thing we're talking about. And my brain is in the AI space. All right, so first of all, like what is AI? AI is artificial intelligence. And it is literally like when computers can learn and do things that have previously only been able to be done with the human noggin. Um, you know, this is where like, this is like the making of a movie where, you know, things go wrong. Like I was in the barbershop the other day with my youngest son cause he had to get his mullet trimmed up. Cause you know, we live in the South and we've got a mullet, but anyway, he had to get his mullet trimmed up and he was, we were at the barbershop and he was watching the TV behind me and I kept looking back and I couldn't tell what movie it was. Finally, I realized it was iRobot. And if you haven't seen iRobot, it's a Will Smith movie. All the robots like take over the world or try to because they're AI driven and blah, blah, blah. And if you watch stuff like that, AI can be a little bit scary. And honestly, AI can be a little bit scary, but there's a fine line in using tools to make our lives easier and you know, programming robots to take over the world. Okay, so like I say, I have eight tools I wanna chat about. First and foremost is actually the sponsor of this video and that is ClickUp. So ClickUp is a project management tool and I have used it for years. Y'all can like literally go back in my archives because I've been talking about ClickUp forever forever. Okay. I've been talking about ClickUp forever and you can go back and like, you know, test me on that. Okay. But anyway, ClickUp is a project management tool that helps you manage hashtag all the things It helps you keep everything in one place, it helps you manage a team. It can help you manage your content strategy, etc., etc. And now ClickUp actually has a new version coming out, ClickUp 3.0. And this version has AI tools built in. So you can write with AI, you can correct your grammar with AI, you can schedule meetings with AI. It's pretty darn cool. I actually just did a whole video about ClickUp 3.0, but it is by far one of my most used AI tools and one of the ones that I think will serve me the best in what I do because it's already in a system that I already use every day. And so like, why not? <laughs> Right? So ClickUp 3.0 and ClickUp AI are currently on wait list only. Now, by the time you see this, it may not be. So uh, check the links below. But if you'll go ahead and sign up for ClickUp at heyjessica.com forward slash ClickUp, you can go ahead and be familiarizing yourself with ClickUp. And then once you get access to 3.0 slash the AI features, you can play around with it. But I have personally been using ClickUp 3.0 to help me write scripts for videos, to help me bullet point things, to help me write blog posts, to help me um, kind of get out of a creative rut if I can't think of things or I need some more ideas. I have been using it in so many ways and for sure is a tool that I will just like keep using forever and ever, I'm in. Now, remember a second ago when I said that a lot of these tools you've probably already been using. Here's one I know you have, Descript. I have done whole videos on Descript or like using Descript. And there are a ton of videos about Descript out here on the internet. Descript is a video editing tool. It lets you like edit your videos, but it also auto generates captions. 
using AI. It will let you remove the background from your video and put you anywhere in the world using AI. It is an amazing AI tool for creators and especially to edit videos. Now, as AI gets more prevalent and more like open source and more, you know, people are seeing what they can do with AI, I think tools like Descript will just be kind of merged into other tools we already use. So like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve will start using the features of Descript they already have, but they'll start using those same AIs in their software where before it wasn't an AI, it was just a, a computer tool. So I think as we go, like some of these will kind of merge together or merge into other things. But for now, these are the eight that I recommend. Okay. So Descript is awesome. If you have not checked out Descript, I'll leave a link to it below too, because it is one of my favorite tools, especially to put like captions across the video or to edit like super quickly because what you can do with Descript is instead of editing like your video frames, you can go in and edit the text and it will delete everything that you delete in the text. So like if I say like, um, yeah, and I know I want to delete that, I can delete it in the text. It will delete it out of the video. Pretty freaking cool tool. Third, you know, we had to include it on this list and that's chat GPT. Chat GPT is a writing, AI tool. So this AI tool is probably the one that most people are talking about because it's like Google on steroids. Honestly, it, you can research things, you can write things, you can have it help you with things. It is literally like the best writing assistant that there is. And again, tools are going to start like absorbing these same features like ClickUp 3.0 has a chat GPT esque feature in it. So I don't need ChatGPT as much as I did before, but for now, ChatGPT is an amazing freaking tool. You can have it like write your YouTube scripts. You can have it plan your vacation. You can have it go look up something on the internet that you're not finding a clear answer to. You can have it write podcast scripts or Instagram captions. It is a spectacular AI feature. And on that same note, Jasper.io is basically the same thing as ChatGPT, it's just a different company. <laughs> so I'm not gonna like expand on it too much, but that's number four. Number five, you've been using this one, I promise. And that's Grammarly. Listen, I would happily start a GoFundMe for most of the world to be able to subscribe to Grammarly so that when they write Facebook posts, they don't sound the way they are, but you know, it's probably not going to happen because I can't stand a there, there, and there mix up, a your and your mix up, a sell and sale mix up. I can't do it. I thought that the sell and sale thing was just like local to me because we're Southern. And when we say like, I want to sell that thing, it does kind of sound like sale, like, like, you know what I mean? They kind of sound the same, but no, I've seen other people do it too. So it's not just a Southern thing. But my point here is <laughs> that Grammarly has been around for a hot minute. It is a learning AI tool. And so what it does is it's an extension on your computer in Chrome, that kind of thing. And it will help you correct grammar, correct sentence structure, and give you suggestions for better ways to say things. So it is a really, really awesome tool. I have been using Grammarly for years now. Mid journey. I have not personally used mid journey because I can't get it to let me log in, but that's not the point. Okay. Um, the point is mid journey is an image generator. This is going to be able to create images, to create thumbnails for YouTube, to create photos based on AI, to create cartoonish photos based on AI. Now, what I have learned about photo generators of AI is that they have a long way to go. <laughs> Most of the time people come out with like 18 fingers on one hand or whatever. Now, not all the times, but sometimes like it's, it's a little funny. Like I tried to use Canva's photo AI, which we're going to talk about in a minute, but I tried to use it in a video that y'all saw not long ago and the mouths of the people, like they didn't have noses. Uh, no idea, but mid journey is a great image generator. It is the one that most people are using. There's others like doll E, um, or things like that. But mid journey is the one that I've seen the most people using and loving and having success with. And then these last two, I know you've used, I know you have, and if you haven't, you're crazy. Okay. <laughs> so the, um, how many do we have here? We've got eight. So this is the seventh one. The seventh one would be Zapier. Y'all Zapier is just an amazing tool 
without AI, okay? It is freaking amazing. And so if you've never used Zapier, it basically ties tools together and helps you automate things happening. So for instance, like if I want every single time I publish a YouTube video for it to be published to Twitter, I can do that through Zapier. If I want to get a text message every single time I make a sale, I can do that through Zapier. If every single time I make a sale in my WooCommerce store, I need it to go over to ConvertKit and tag those people in my email marketing system, I can do that with Zapier. You can even build like super complex zaps that help you like tie multiple things together. So for instance, like when we sell a YouTube audit, so anytime I sell a YouTube audit, it needs to go into ClickUp so that I can collect that person's information and it needs to tag me and it needs to tag Bridget so that we both know that there's one there. But also because it was a new automation, I was a little worried that it wouldn't fire correctly because of the way I had to set it up. So I also set it up to send an email that I wrote out ahead of time to Bridget that says, Hey, somebody purchased a YouTube audit. Can you make sure that's like, all squared away. And so you can have it do some like pretty complex things, but now it has a partnership with open who is the owner of ChatGPT, So you can like pair those two together and make this even better. So let's say I wanted to have like a service where people send me their YouTube channel and what it's about. And then I send them a bunch of ideas for what to do for videos on that YouTube channel. I could incorporate Zapier with however I sell that and however they fill out that form to tell it to when someone fills out that form to take that and put it into a prompt in chat GPT and give me 15 video ideas for this particular person and this niche and then send it to my email so that I can like comb through it before I email it to them. It's pretty cool. And that is obviously, by the way, not the only use case. It was just a fun one I thought of. Okay, last but certainly not least is Canva. Canva has a ton of new AI tools built in um, that it's kind of experimenting with and coming out with. One of those is that you can kind of create like a, a smart document or a smart like presentation. So you can go in and you can say, create me a presentation about why Stanley Cups are the best cups in the world. And Canva will go in and go ahead and create that presentation for you and write the copy for you from, for a starting point. Again, it's not perfect. None of this is perfect. It's all starting point stuff, but it's stuff that like removes a step from your brain. And that's amazing. Canva also has like photo generator AI. Again, I don't think it's perfect, but it's like decent and even like photo editor AI. So it will let you remove the background, which it's done for a while, but it will also let you like change things in a photo. So if I was a photo of me like this, right? Like, ah, oh. um, <laughs> and this photo was of me with this mouse in my hand. If I take it into Canva, I can like highlight the mouse and say like, turn this mouse into an apple and it will do that. Now, again, I have not found that this is perfect, but it's, it's fun. It's fun to play with. All right. So that's it. That is your eight tools that I think every creator should be using in some way, shape or form to help make their life better. You can script videos, you can bullet point videos, you can write blog posts, you can write YouTube scripts, you can write podcast scripts, you can create thumbnails, you can make sure like your grammar is on point in your social media posts, you can write social media posts, you can edit your videos, you can automate tasks, you can make images. Like there's literally so much we can do with AI and a part of it is, you know, there's the whole conversation and I said this in my last video about AI, but there's the whole conversation about it getting rid of the creator or making the creator obsolete or making artists obsolete or photographers obsolete. And I just don't ever feel like that's the case because the thing that AI is missing is the true human connection. And I don't know that we'll ever get to a point where it can have that, right? We would have to have like, full on robots, like an iRobot who like learn to fall in love with somebody for us to like be able to do that. And, um, if the world gets to that point, 
I don't know that we're creating content anyway. Let me know in the comments below which one of these you're most interested to try out or if you've been using other AI tools, I'd love to hear about it. And again, if you wanna try out ClickUp 3.0 and their new AI tools, check out heyjessica.com forward slash ClickUp and I'll put all the links to like apply for the waitlist and things like that below in the description as well. All right, until next time.